Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com and this is another episode of the Ask PTL Show. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about is the PTCB exam really as hard as people make it out to be? I mean, is it really something to worry about? Let's talk about it. Alright guys, so of course you know this is a place where you can get all of the juicy information about being a pharmacy tech, all of the new jobs, anything new happening with the certifications, yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So let's just cut straight to the point. I have one thing that I wanna share with you and two questions that I want to ask you before you take the PTCB exam and so you can analyze yourself. Will the PTCB exam be hard for you, all right? Because depending on who you are, the PTCB exam just may not be hard, okay? And it depends on a bunch of different factors, and I'm gonna share with you some of them here, okay? Your approach to taking the PTCB exam, all right? Your approach to not only taking it, but your approach to studying for the PTCB exam, all right? I want you to think about it because depending on, you have student A and student B, depending on how they approach uh, studying for this exam, this will dictate their confidence going into the exam and also how they perform on the exam. All right. So you have to analyze that. I know a bunch of people say, well, I'm using this study material and I'm using this study material and this book and this app, yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, it depends on your approach. Most people typically don't do as well using books to study for the exam. Some people have reported that they don't do well using just an app to study for the exam because an app doesn't give you in-depth explanation and, and take you through the ringer with, with teaching you and, and they don't get the, the visual and audio. So it just depends on your approach to studying, how you study best, and really what works best for you. Now, I do have a question that I want to ask you. You have to ask yourself, are you studying according to what will be on the actual exam? While you're thinking about it, think about, do you even know what will be on the exam? If the answer to this question is no, then if you today were to walk in and take the PTCB exam, you probably would come back and say, man, that exam was so hard. But if you're a student that already knows this and your answer to that question is yes, then you'll probably go in the exam, look at it, come out pretty relaxed, pass it and come back and say, ah, psh, don't worry about that exam. It really wasn't that hard. I mean, it's not a big deal. So make sure that you're studying while you're studying, study according to what's on the actual exam, which leads to my third question that I want to ask you and that is this are you taking the exam in 2019 or are you taking the exam in 2020 because depending on which year you're taking the exam you're gonna have some different content that you need to be focusing on okay so the same thing that you're studying in 2019 you're not gonna apply that information on the exam in 2020 because there are some drastic changes that are going to be happening between those times, all right? The curriculum uh, for the PTCB exam is actually changing drastically. And if you wanna know more in-depth information about that, because it, it does go a lot more in-depth, then just head over to our private community. Or you can head over to pharmacytechlessons.com and that's how you can get access to the community. But you need to know that from year to year, depending on how you're preparing, this will determine if the exam is hard to you or not, all right? And I'll just give you an example. Let's take student A, right? They studied in 2019, but they're taking the exam in 2020. They're going to have a rough experience when it comes to taking this exam. Why? Because the content on the exam from 2019 when they studied has drastically changed in the year of 2020. All right. Then you have student B on the other hand. Okay. They're studying in 2019. They're taking the exam in 2019. 
chances are they're gonna have a very smooth transition if they're following all the other things that I mentioned to you earlier in this video, okay? So those are some key things to take in mind. Don't believe me? Then just go and ask some students who have done it and they will tell you, all right? We have seen hundreds of students make this mistake before coming to PharmacyTechLessons.com. So those are some key things for you to consider whenever you're asking, is the PTCB exam hard? It all depends on the person, their perspective, and how they actually prepared for the exam, okay? So when you're searching all over the internet and you're seeing all these people saying the PTCB exam is, is hard, the PTCB exam is so easy, make sure that you keep in mind all of these things that I have mentioned here to you. All right, guys, so hopefully that helped you. If you have any more questions, then of course you already know. You can leave them in the comments below and you will get an answer. Also, be sure to subscribe here, you guys. We have tons of more content and answers to your questions coming out here on the channel. You guys, this has been Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com with another episode of the Ask PTL Show. You have a wonderful day.